Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and today we will learn how to measure the femur length on ultrasound. The femur length measurement is one of the fetal biometric parameters to estimate the gestational age. After the femur is located, it should be imaged as longitudinally as possible. Its full length should be seen. It should be perpendicular to the ultrasound beam. Try to obtain a right angle between the ultrasound beam and the femur. Both ends of the femur, which are the proximal and distal femoral epiphysis, should be clearly visualized. An epiphysis is the end part of a long bone the femur in this case. Avoid applying too much pressure with the probe as it can compress the fetal structures and give an inaccurate measurement. The distal femur point is a short extension seen from the inferior edge of the femur on its lateral side towards the knee the knee is in this direction. This point should not be included in the femur length. So if you see this sharp edge of the femur near the knee, do not place the caliper on this sharp edge. Place one caliper at the proximal end of the femur and the other caliper at the distal end to measure the femur length. You can take multiple measurements of the femur length and take an average of these values if you get different values of femur length. Take the measurement in a straight line. If you see a curved femur, there is no need to include the curve in the measurement. There is no need to place any caliper here or follow the curve of the femur. You just need to place calipers at both ends of the femur. After obtaining the measurement, you can compare the femur length to gestational age to assess fetal growth. A significantly shorter or longer femur length compared to the gestational age may suggest potential skeletal dysplasias but this is not always the case as femur lengths can vary widely in normal fetuses as well. In such cases, it is better to correlate with other biometric parameters and overall fetal health and well-being. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos.